Now, we definitely saw a lot of funerals in episode 6, after Claudia killed Mai last week and Reggie this week. Now, we also saw the funerals of both Elijah and Simon. And before each episode, I normally tweet my thoughts and predictions, and I raise the question, what was Walter Flynn gonna do when he hears about Vic and what he did with the Serbs? And we saw Walter Flynn, he's not playing any games, dropping three Serbs, which is no doubt gonna cause Merkovic to come back. Because having more dead Serbs, there could very well be a war on its way. But we saw Tommy building the foundation to his new business with Claudia, after he cut ties with Diamond, Vic and Jannard, and he did so with everything that he learned from Ghost. But we've also got the CBI back together with Diamond and Jannard, but they've got an issue with Adrian, who's definitely undercover, because it was no coincidence that she was sat in Diamond's booth. So Jannard being Jannard, I'm sure he's going to be wary about his big brother, because now he's started to show some smarts. But DMAC is already done following Tommy, and we all know why. So we're going to run through everything as usual in this review and recap for episode 6. This is who we are, and it started with Tommy teaching Claudia exactly this. This is exactly who they are, when he was helping her bury Mai, and this conversation confirmed that this was her first kill, and the first one is always the hardest, and she asked Tommy, how many bodies has he got, and only if she knew because there is way too many to count, from killing connects from Lobos and Milan, Holly, Proctor, Maria Suarez, and so many more, but the same two rules apply, you don't get caught and the bodies don't get found, because this game comes with a price, and bodies will always have to drop on their way to the top. For example, this is what Ghost had to do and why he killed Breeze, and also why he sent Kanan to prison. But as Claudia said goodbye to Mai, we saw two other funerals, and that was Elijah on one side and Simon on the other. And you could really see where Jannard's head was when it came to Elijah's death, because he still blames Tommy, even though they all know what the consequences are, as we see Diamond looking after Elijah's mom. But coming to Simon's funeral, there's a few things. The first was Claudia questioning Walter Flynn about his sickness, which he brushed off. Now, we also saw Walter Flynn telling Uncle Paulie that he still got a chance with his kid, but we also found out just how close Simon and Vic really were. They were childhood friends since they were three, and now he was lying in this box because of the move that Vic Flynn made with Tommy and the CBI. But where Jannard blames Tommy, Vic Flynn is someone who knows the consequences of this game, and this is why he wanted to get in on the shit that Claudia was in on, and that was the designer drug Dahlia, but she told him that her idea came and went. But that's because she struck a deal with Tommy, and Tommy was someone who told Jannard that this was the cost and price of doing business, but with Jannard and Vic Flynn still feeling the deaths of their number twos, Jannard wasn't happy with the fact that they were burying their own people while Tommy lost no one, and that's because Tommy doesn't really have anyone to lose, apart from Liliana because as past episodes have shown us, and this week, she really is valuable to Tommy, and we'll get to why. But we learned that the Serbs, they're not here anymore, so they've got their pipeline, but they also went their separate ways with Tommy selling them 10 keys, and that's because he's got something better planned with Claudia, and Diamond knows who Tommy is, he was gonna make moves with or without the CBI. So let's talk about Tommy making his next moves, but not without Liliana, who showed us that she's down even though she just got shot, because she told us who she is, she doesn't know any other life, and this is exactly why Tommy likes having her on his team. He definitely sees a bit of himself in Liliana. They're both two people who have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So we saw them both reinvest in Dahlia, and the way it was going to go down was with Locker Drops, which is actually a similar move that Tariq and Braden set up in Powerbook 2 Ghost on the rooftop. But the difference is, Tommy wanted to move in plain sight, and hiding in plain sight is exactly what Tommy and Ghost used to do back in the day with the couriers, and also why he taught Milan. And this is why Claudia chose to partner with Tommy, because she's got the product, but he's got the brains. But most importantly, he knows buyers. And the reason why he knows who to sell to is because if we rewind it back to episode 2, the drops that he did for Rojas introduced him to a whole network of people that he could sell to. But this is where Tommy tells us why Liliana is so important to him. He tells Claudia that she's different because she used to run for him. She also got worked over by the Serbs. She also recently took a bullet and she didn't break or give Tommy up. And this is exactly what Tommy likes about Liliana. She's loyal, and Tommy's definitely been picking them right since he got to Chicago, and Reggie wasn't going to be one of them. But before we get to Tommy carrying out the locker drops, the Flynn's place of business was raided by Officer Vargas and Kayla, and Claude came to the rescue. But this also proved to her why she was making the right moves with Tommy, because for as long as she's under Walter Flynn, similar to how Vic will always be a boy, Claudia will never be her own woman, 
and Walter Flynn really is pushing Claudia into becoming her own boss. And this is why he wanted Vic to find out what she was up to, because he knew she was up to something. But Uncle Paulie was also stopped by Officer Vargas and Kayla, but he told him that they'll need a torpedo to take someone like Walter Flynn down, and it definitely wasn't going to be Uncle Paulie who was going to help them take him down. So let's see how they now attack the Flynns. But coming back to the locker drops, we had Liliana who was recording everything inside. And Tommy knew that this was a spot because anybody could walk through there, connect, distros, and even himself. And this was him paying homage to Ghost with a suit. Because he said that his partner back in the day used to rock these custom suits every day. But this proved Tommy's point. Sometimes it is better to hide in plain sight. So we saw Liliana making the locker key drops to Moshai and Soto, two of the premieres that he found in episode 2, thanks to doing the drops for Rojas. And this was Tommy and Claudia's way of staying off the grid, just like a ghost. And just before we move on, did anybody else notice that Liliana gave this look when Tommy blew a kiss to Claudia? And I know there are a lot of people who think Tommy and Liliana will end up getting together, and I initially didn't think so, so let's wait and see what happens with this one. But after this, they went and found the cork to the drug Dahlia, and with Tommy not wanting anybody to know his face, I do think it is only a matter of time before the cork catches a hot one, because once Liliana knows how to make Dahlia, then she won't be needed, and someone else who wasn't needed was Reggie, because if he knew Claudia, then he knew Tommy, and Liliana knew that this was a problem. But this is where we saw Claudia's real dark turn, where she caught yet another body with Reggie, with Tommy helping her again. And this came full circle to the beginning of the episode, and really showing Claudia that this is exactly who she is. But let's talk all things Jannard, Diamond, and the CBI, because thanks to Tommy, he opened up the Serbs pipeline, but now it's just Jannard, Diamond, and Vic Flynn. But Jannard's not letting this shit go with Tommy, because he still blames him for Elijah's death. But this is where we really see his smarts, because he said they were going to tuck away 10% of everything that they make, for when the Serbs come calling, because he knows that they definitely will, because they've got their territory after making a hell of a lot of noise. But they were definitely back in business, and this conversation between Diamond and Jannard told us that Diamond put a lot of faith in Jannard, even though he was only 18, and that's because he was blood. But where Jannard was making moves, so was Diamond, but in a different way. Now this was Adrian, and the moment she was sitting in Diamond's booth, I really did feel something was off about her, because it definitely wasn't a coincidence. And she definitely is undercover, because after Diamond was done, she got a phone call from work that was very late at night. And we all know this means one thing, especially with how she was looking at Diamond's article. And I really do wonder, is this a move by Officer Bennigan? Because he still blames Diamond and the CBI for what happened to his sister back in 2006. But either way, this definitely ain't good for Diamond or the CBI. But another move that was made by Jannard was with DMAC. He paid him to just go and follow Tommy and report back. But he was done as soon as he peeped the conversation with Tommy and JP. And that's because he wants nothing to do with his father. But it really is getting close to the moment where this secret is revealed. But on JP and Tommy, they definitely learned more about each other. And after Tommy told him that he was a drug dealer, JP said he wants in because he wants to make some bread, and we all know this isn't going to end well. But let's finish on Walter Flynn, the Serbs, and his relationship with Gloria and Vic Flynn. Because as expected, as the news filtered through to Walter Flynn about the hit on the Serbs, they were just waiting for the names to drop about who hit them. And while they were waiting for this, we had Vic Flynn who wasn't giving up on Gloria, and he was going to bring her to dinner, even though Walter Flynn was against it. But as we saw him telling Gloria that he was making his own moves, we saw yet another drive-by on Vic this time by the Serbs. And when he told Walter Flynn, he thought that it was a CBI. But when he said the shooter was white, he knew that it was the Serbs. And then it all started to make sense and add up that he was the one who hit them with Tommy. And now it was left for him to run interference and clean up his mess. And we saw Walter Flynn do just that, because he dropped three Serbs, sending a message to Merkovic that if he comes after his boy or his family, then he will burn this city to the fucking ground. And Walter Flynn is definitely done playing games, and now I think we may see him starting to take a stranglehold over his organisation, and see this element play out from his character description, where he tells us that he takes more of a liking to Tommy, which will cause some more jealousy from Vic Flynn. So that is definitely something to watch out for over the last four episodes. And that was episode 6, which is definitely setting us up for a nice finish to the first season of Force. So drop all your comments down below. And of course, I will be back with my recap part 2 later on this evening. So of course, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 4 Force and Power Universe related. But as always, 
Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.